Hello. Right, I thought I would show you today how I add my uh, ribbon to uh, any of my Christmas tree baubles. I have one here which is what we're going to work on today. I've got quite a few to go through. Um, this one I have actually put a bit of glitter on it, which I think will look quite nice with the lights. I'm not sure if you can actually get the sparkle. It's really quite pretty. So we're going to do, I'm going to do quite a lot of these today uh, that I've already prepared. So they're now ready for um, my ribbon. And this is the ribbon that I use. It's, it's quite thin, as you can see. It's not very thick. So that will actually go through the top part of the bauble. And then to make the hole, as you can see, I've decoupaged all the way up. So we're now going to make an incision here and I use a screw, just an ordinary screw, to do that. And then of course we have scissors. And then I use a bobby pin, which is um, a brilliant idea because you have to get the, uh, the ribbon through the hole. So a lot of the time if you're trying to feed it through, you'll get very frustrated. So I use a bobby pin like this just to help push it through so let's get started then so what we do first is obviously make the incision in the uh, the top here so I will try and do it at the same time as showing you you just put it where the hole is and then twist your screw turn around to the other side and just very very gently twist now remember, if you've actually done these yourself, where you've made your own, or you're wanting to make your own Christmas decorations, um, I have obviously put two layers of Mod Podge. You have the Mod Podge in, in the underneath, and you have your napkin. Then I have two layers of Mod Podge over the top, and obviously on top of that we have the glitter. So what I'm trying to say is that up here where you're penetrating, because you've got several coats of something, it makes it a lot easier to penetrate. If you don't seal your your wooden um, uh, decoration, when you insert that hole up there, you're going to start ripping. So that's, again, it's the, the finished product, but I will be putting a little tutorial up about that. It's no different from any of my others regarding um, when I do my hearts or do anything. Uh, it's always, you do have your finishing coats, which give you a nice hard finished so as you can see there that hole has been made even if it's a little bit rough it doesn't matter because by the time you get your cord through you won't really see it so then we get our cord and rest it over where the hole is then get your bobby pin I mean it's self-explanatory really and you push it through as you can see there so the bobby pin is absolutely brilliant so we pull the cord through where you measure how long you want it and you've got to give yourself enough space at the top because you've got to be able to cut a, uh, not cut, you have to be able to make a knot. So that is the length that I'm going to be working with. So now we're going to put a knot in the end. I normally just keep hold of one end and twist and then just curl it round so it's a lot easier to pull that little bit through and then when you bring it through bring it up as high as you can to the top all right so that last little bit here we now cut that off and then just to seal this end I don't know if you can see it there I use my lighter okay if you don't burn your fingers and I just literally just top it on the end then that will not undo. And there you go. That is one of your tree hangers. So we will do a few more. So again, you pierce, you pierce your, your hole, very gently twisting, very gently twisting both sides, and then just rub away any excess that's come off which very unlikely you'll get you'll get a lot coming off to be honest and then get your ribbon put it in place over the hole 
use your bobby pin and push it through like so and then pull up to how long you want it Cut. and then we twist around just to help you so you'll be able to turn it get a knot in there just quite fiddly and then bring the knot up as high as you can go like so and then snip the end yeah and then use your lighter just to finish off that end just dab it down and there you go so we have two so far you can make some longer shorter or whatever it's entirely up to you there's some people i have noticed what they do they tie here before they do their knot just to keep it a bit more straight but i like it like this and it moves about quite nice so that's how i put my ribbon on any of my woodcraft and the bobby pin is your lifesaver <laughs> to get it through any hole it's a brilliant idea and as i say a screw again is a wonderful idea anyway happy crafting and um i will be back again with um the demonstration of how i make these and then uh, it'll be a short tutorial so please subscribe to my channel um also share that would be lovely i would like to see the channel booming a little bit more with us crafters um other people that you know want to either learn or you're interested in the craft so please come and join me the more supporters i get through here will be absolutely wonderful um and i will keep sharing different types of videos of crafts and this type of thing if there's anything you'd like me to to do um then please put it in the comments um the more feedback i get from you what you would like to see it will help me do more creations when it comes to my tutorials so only have a wonderful day everyone i hope you've enjoyed this quickie quickie and uh, speak to you soon and remember subscribe and share please share thank you so much have a wonderful day bye bye